how's everybody doing today? And as you can see, this is episode four of Miami Marlins zero overall franchise rebuild series, whatever you want to call it. If you guys missed last episode, up above in the right hand corner, there is a link to that video. Make sure you get caught up on everything that happened. We had a really solid game against the Orioles. Unfortunately, we weren't able to win and we had an amazing draft day. So if you guys need to get caught up, go make sure you do that. So now that we're going to talk about today's episode, if you guys have been enjoying the series, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe if you are new and enjoy the content. And also let me know in the comment section below what you guys like about this series, what we should change about this series, um, some ideas you guys have to make this series even better. I read through all of your comments. I go and make sure I take some notes, get some feedback so we can keep this series really good as well as improve it for when MLB 19 comes out so we can continue it then. So looking at today's episode, we might wrap up the season. Um, I'm thinking about just playing one game finishing the season see how it goes hopefully get a win and um, I say hopefully because I'm going to talk to you guys about that in a second but quickly the teams we have to play against to finish off the season are kind of tough you know we have the Nationals the Braves the Cardinals the Yankees the Red Sox and um, we don't really have too many bad teams left to play it's really down to the Mets the Blue Jays and the Pirates those are really the only teams that are not doing too well they have losing records so and the, the worst of them is the Blue Jays. So I'm thinking we're going to play them. But we may end up um, finishing the season today because I want episode 5 to kind of be like an off-season recap where hopefully we can acquire one player as well as um, kind of talk about all the upgrades that happened throughout the season, get everybody caught up, as well as introduce the new draft picks um, that we had from the previous episode so that episode five is going to be kind of an off-season roundup and then episode six will be the start of season two for you guys to get um, hyped for that so I'm definitely hoping we get a win so when I said hopefully get a win I'm thinking about dropping down pitching to all-star just because I've been missing spots a lot and I feel like this is a big issue for us. I mean, yes, hitting is difficult, um, but maybe maybe drop down both to all-star. And if we end up winning this game by a lot, then I know it's just way too easy. But I think with, oh, wait, 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 wait. With how, like, the previous games that we've played have gone, I feel like dropping it down just a little bit is not going to be too de detrimental to the series. I mean, if I end up winning this this game against the Blue Jays, like three, four, nothing. Then I know that it's a little bit too easy. But for right now, I don't have any issues dropping it down to All Star. If you guys think that it's too easy, let me know. I'll bump it right back up. I just feel like getting kind of a close game. Four zero, I said was close, but I want to get a little bit closer. So let's hop into this Blue Jays game, see how it goes, and we'll talk. You know, we'll get started once the lineups are set. Alrighty, so hopping into this game against the Blue Jays, um, I decided to go with the first game of the series because the next two are against the um, the two best pitchers in Stroman and Aaron Sanchez. So we're gonna have Bartholomew on the mound. They have Sean Reed Foley, and this is how we're gonna look. Maverick Moss is a little tired, so we're gonna have Mont Montague. In the lineup but you guys can see we have a little you know a little bit of growth threes and fours along the board um, we're just gonna we're gonna skip all and as you can see this is the lineup for the Blue Jays um, Davis McKinney Morales Guerrero oh they brought up Vlad jr. yo whoa Drury Tulo Hernandez Jansen and Sean Reed Foley whoa 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 Vlad jr. is making an appearance in today's episode okay that's a, that's a bit interesting. So we got Sean Reed Foley on the mound. Similar walks for for the pitchers. That's really about all that Bartholomew can say. Hey, I got a similar walk amount as somebody else. But uh, let's see how it goes. Jonathan Davis hitting 185 on the year. I'm pretty sure he's got a decent amount of speed, like mid-80s. So hopefully we can keep him off the base paths. That, I think, will be massive for us if we can do that all right come on Niles make the play here there we go so first first batter we have an out one at two we're going two seam down and away 
and uh, we get the K and so far what I'm noticing is even though I've bumped the pitching difficulty down a little bit I'm st I'm still missing my spots like I'm trying to be pinpoint with it but I'm I'm st still missing my spots by a good amount so I, having these low rated players is making it a lot more difficult hitting gets marginally easier I'll just um, I'll turn it back up this game because like we got a we got a hitter on already so if it becomes too easy I'll just bump it up like the second or third inning for sure it was a change up 0-2 count now getting a little bloop over third or first would be perfect and that's not 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 ideal but this might move Victor Victor to third it's not gonna be close he's gonna get in there and we have third base one out Chris Montague with the power stride that's gonna get the run home so we are gonna take the lead one nothing here all right Vlad jr. oh man swing in first pitch okay slurve down in this all oh, blue you gotta give me that come on that's a strike how is that not a strike there we go we get the K all right okay all right all righty bottom second rain Rodney's up can he start us off right and another base hit to start as I say that I ground into a, a double play so maybe maybe it's not as easy as I thought we're gonna go up in the zone see how it goes and rain rodney should make the play he does and we go one two three again three shutout innings for the ace truman bartholomew and it's going pretty well pepito americo come on let's go base knock to start the inning off again there we go all righty truman's up i kind of want to see if i can do a score a bunt here they do have the corners in so I sent the runner he gets the bunt down that's good and uh, we move the runner over Victor Victor's up next solid and we're gonna take a walk so Victor Victor on first man on second one out can Danilo Prince deliver here oh it's gonna be a double play again Get the leadoff runner on, and we squander it. We absolutely ruin it because we hit into a double play, but we didn't. So Truman Bartholomew is heading into the fourth drag bunt for Jonathan Davis. So I think I mentioned he does have a decent amount of speed, so that's pretty much confirming that I was right. Pepito Americo, if you do not make that play, this is 100% a triple. Like, oh, it's only a double. What was that? Defensive miscue hurts us he almost recovered I mean he almost recovered but ah man he oh why did he step in they usually step back and I thought maybe just maybe and he, he just flat out missed it like he just he stuck his hand out like a blind man he was just like nah I'm not gonna catch that Victor Victor is gonna make the play that's 100% moving Davis to third though so one out guy on third and we only have a one run lead so this is this is dangerous territory. Kendrys Morales is up. So, uh, this is tough. This is where as a batter you got to find a way to put something in the outfield. Get something elevated. I know you got to battle with two strikes. And that's going to get the run home. It is a tie game. Man. And the score from third is the tie in the inning. No balls and a strike to count. Behind 0-2 now. That's a that's a strike. Look at the what? Look at that. That's a strike. That's ninety eight percent in the zone. You're kidding me. And he goes after that. But what? I mean, we get the strikeout, so we got two outs. We got eight speed on first. But man, what what is this ump like? What is he looking at? Alrighty, Chris Montague, the man with the RBI this game. Can you lead it off right? Oh, wow. 
he got decent he got decent contact on that. It's an out, but hey, that's 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 not bad. I think that's one of our farthest hit balls of the season. And uh, he walks. All right, that's not good. Alrighty, so Bartholomew's day is done. We're gonna bring in Alfredo Derrick. Let's see if we can uh, turn this around. Please, no, no, not like this. Not like this. Please, like, I'm okay with them getting hits. I'm okay with them scoring right. But drop, drop balls now. So Tulo's going to get to third. We only have one out on the drop third strike because you can't catch a fastball. Like, and it wasn't even like a bad fastball. Yeah, I get it was a little high in the zone, but still, come on. Oh, man. Got to be careful here. Puts it in. Clyde Niles. Dude, come on. Keep that in front of you. Like, that's... Oh... The run scores, which is even worse. Oh, man. Get to first, please. Come on, get to first. All right, so we do get the second out. There is a man in scoring position, so things are looking a little dicey. And then we have Americo and the pitcher up next. Ooh, Kendry Morales. I don't know if he's got the ability to get out there. And that's going to drop, so we get a bloop single over first. With Americo, I believe, is up next, who is one of our higher rated players. So this isn't this isn't too bad. 0-1 count. Come on. And I was on top of that slider again. Oh, it squeezes through. Vlad Jr. Misses it. First and second. One out. Oh man. He just he just missed it. He just missed it. Oh, he's going to ground out. No. I shouldn't have swung. That was ball three. Another wasted opportunity. And uh, that's that's ball four. No, it's not a good start to the inning at all. Kendrys Morales is up now. We got to be careful here. He's going. That's a stolen base for sure. Actually, throw it to first. Just get the out. There we go. We get the out at first. I'll take it. I'll take that. Ooh, that's a nice cutter. Top part of the zone there. Wait, he didn't even go to the ball. What is this? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. We had him dead to right. Oh, man. you got to be kidding me. All right, it, it shouldn't matter. Like, Victor Victor Mesa should make the play. He does. But... What was that? Alrighty, 2-0, hitters count. And that is the third out for sure. 1-2-3 two, two, this inning. Alrighty, catcher's up, Danny Jansen. Starting him off with the curveball, okay. Cutter inside, can Yancey make the play? He does, another 1-2-3, or actually we didn't have a 1-2-3 inning last inning. But we do have a shutout inning again. Bottom seven, we're running out of times to, you know, score some runs. So we definitely need to start delivering when it matters. 0-1 count. Here we go. Base knock. There we go. One out single brings up uh, the mono, the monobrow, unibrow, whatever you want to call it. Braxton Lawson is going to be up next. Two outs. And that's going to be out number three for sure. Oh boy. Too many relievers going multiple innings, but guys have to earn that trust from their managers. We'll see how he handles it here. A ball and two strikes now. Ground ball sent back up the middle. How does that squeeze up the middle? No way. How does that get up the middle? Oh, please, please, Pepito, make the play. Why? Why? That's two plays, Pepito. Two plays. <sighs> Alrighty, so we intentionally walked. 
And I forgot Vlad Jr. was up next. So uh, one out. Bases loaded. Um, and uh, yeah, we're, we're going for the double play here. We're going for broke at this point. Eighth inning. We need to be clutch here. Please turn it. Please turn it. Oh, baby, it works perfectly. Double play on Vlad Jr. And we get out of it. Oh, man. Oh, boy. We got six outs left to win this game. Oh, man. This is crazy. Alrighty, Sonny Boniface is going to come in. Here we go. I'm feeling, I'm feeling it now. We turn two. Oh, we got it. Come on. 1-1 one, one count. Can we do it? Come on, Sonny. You can do it. Get us a hit. See, Sonny gets on. We got Victor Victor up next. That's that's an ideal situation. And the ideal situation has started off just right. Victor Victor is going to come up with a runner on first. No outs. Sonny Boniface, the pinch hitter, delivers. That is, ooh, that's nice. Oh, he hit it so hard. Vlad makes another defensive miscue. First and second, no outs. I thought I dub like, I'm, um, well, uh, God. I could have swore that was a double play written all over it. Whoo. Ready for another shot now. Oh, is that? Oh, he didn't go back to second. Okay, that's okay. That's only one out. That's only one out. To face Chris Montague. Good okay. I centered up the slider. Are you serious? All right, come on, Montague. We need you here. Oh, that's the double play to ruin it again. No. No. A, a base hit out of that. Oh, man. All right, we need another double play here. 0-2 count. There it is. Double play. Turn it again. That's what I'm talking about. And that should do what? I was going to say that should do it for the ninth. The top half of the ninth. Top half of the ninth. But uh, Chris Montague wants to jack everything up right now. And I s please go foul. Oh. My God. I would have been livid. I, I, I might have smashed the controller. No joke. Chris Montague, if you don't make this play, I'm going to kill you. Oh, jeez. That's two now. This this is getting a little dicey. I don't like this at all. This is all because Montague screwed it all up. That's not good. 2-2 two -two now. High fastball. Hits it to third. Step on third. We're out of it. Okay. Whew. Three outs to win this game. Unfortunately, we don't have Victor Victor up. Oh, oh man. All right. Bottom nine. Here we go. This is... Oh, man. That's out number one. They just haven't had consistently good at bats. And that's out in the last time. From the stretch. That's a pop up. No, 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 no. All right, Niles, you got a hit last time. Can you do it? Come on. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And that's the ball game. Oh, you got to be kidding me. We lost. We lost. We had the chance to win the game. Two or three times, we had runners in scoring position, and we lost. That sucks so much. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, eight hits. We out-hit them, and we lost. 
Jeez. <sighs> oh man. So I'm gonna I'm gonna sim the rest of the season. We're gonna see how it goes. And uh Maybe the maybe the CPU can whip out a victory for us. So yeah, we went 0 and 62, uh, 0 and 62, 100, 0, so zero, and 162. We weren't able to get a win. This is the playoff picture there. Oh, I can't believe we lost that game against the Blue Jays, two to one, and we had so many opportunities to win it. But that that's gonna wrap up the season, guys. Um. We'll, we'll fast forward to the end of the playoffs, see how the season finished. The Dodgers won it 4-2 to two, uh, against the Indians, four games to uh, two. You guys can, oh man, that's, we'll see how the standings went. The Nationals, uh, um, blah, blah, blah. all right, so the Nationals took our division, the Cubs took the Central, and the Dodgers took the West. The wild card were the Rockies and the Cardinals in the East. American League East, the Yankees won, the Indians in the Central, and the Astros in the West. The wild card were the Red Sox and the Rays. League leaders um, for the playoffs, Arenado. Uh, we'll look at awards. We'll look at awards. Uh, National League World Series MVP was uh, Chris Taylor. The MVP was Bryce Harper and Lindor. Cy Young was Kershaw and Kluber. Batting title, Ben Attendee and a Harper. Edwin Diaz and Jansen for the closer of the year or reliever of the year. Rookie of the year went to Juan Soto and Shohei. Um, Hank Aaron, you guys can see here. Gold gloves, I'm not too worried about those. Oh, man. I can't believe that just happened. So, so close. But that, that's going to bring an end to the first season, guys. It is a very unfortunate one. No new acquisitions, unfortunately. We do have the addition of the draft picks, though. So those are going to be new players we can include in the squad next season. So I hope you guys enjoy it. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. It was a roller coaster ride. I can't believe that just happened. But I'll catch you all in the next episode. Hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Peace.